That's crazy. I'm gonna do my workout all over again for y'all. whole workout again for y'all. whole workout for y'all again. In case y'all miss some good stuff. I just did three minute workout on my post game. Y'all probably already heard my speech. Every move built off of one another. Now y'all actually seen what I just did. working my knee overtime today. I gotta strengthen it. I couldn't do this before. My first step. Got my first step. It's major. I got my first step. A dangerous dude with a first step. That I can absorb any contact. left, that's right, showed a little bit of a jumper, that's how hard I used to work, harder than this.
mid range. It's wet, I'm telling you. That's why I was so dangerous. Because you couldn't stop my mid range. You couldn't stop me from going to the cup. And you couldn't stop me in the post. Didn't matter where I was on the floor, you couldn't stop me. That was my mind mentality when I played ball. And I played against the best. And they only brought the best out of me. But I just gave y'all a little seven minute workout of how I used to work out. Every move built upon another move. Every move caused, once again, a defender's reaction. I called it build a bear, because one move built off another. Sometimes I would do the same move twice to see how my defender was gonna react. If he didn't react, if I beat him the first time he didn't react, I hit him with it again. See if he react. If he don't, I'm going to blow right by him. Because even if he beats me to where I'm going, I already have another move up here. I'm going to go right into another move. So it's like I want him to beat me because now I go into my next move. Then it confuses him because on the third time, I'm going to throw the same move. And he's going to expect me to now. I beat him here. He spent last time. But because I got good footwork, I can fake it and then do my fadeaway, Akeem Olajuwon fadeaway jumper. Just giving y'all a little bit. Try to show these young boys how to play ball, man. I'm older now, so my footwork has to separate me. Y'all probably already heard it, but y'all couldn't see me saying it. Um, but my footwork at my age is what separates me from these young boys. They're quicker than me, but if my footwork is good as it is, I'm gonna always get to where they're going. I'm going to always get to where they're going. And then on top of it, I'm going to beat them on offense because I'm bigger. On top of being bigger, um, the space, spacing on the floor that I'm going to create, the separation. So did a seven-minute workout. You see me work left. You see me work right side. So if any of you young boys, y'all got sons that need some training, you know, I got my, my nephews and my little bros out there training a lot of people. Much love and respect to them. But you got some old cats like me that can still coach. I can teach guards how to post up. I can teach big men how to play guard because that's what I had to play. I had to play the one, two, and three after I graduated. You gotta learn how to handle the rock. So pray that my video inspired some of y'all old heads to get out here, work out, get back in shape, work on your timing. Hope I inspire some of the young boys. You got to get in that. You got to work out, man. To be the best, you got to train like the best. But I train like the best to be better than the best. That was always my mom mentality. Even though Cass was considered better than me, maybe they were better than me. But I was training harder than them because I wanted to be better than them. So when we stepped on the court, we were equals. It wasn't about what people said. You got to come guard me like I got to guard you. That's my mindset. They can say, man, you couldn't stop me. You can't stop me either. And I could take you anywhere on the court and do what I do. That was my mindset. That was my mindset. And that's still my mindset. That's why I keep work. I work out four or five times a day. I can't shoot around like I want to. But I work out because my mindset is geared towards as if I'm, I'm playing in a big game. And I'm 42 years old, and I still had that same mindset, like I'm about to play in a big game, and I'm getting myself mentally prepared. So I work out. I work out. So let me flip this screen around. Hopefully y'all seen something this time, rather than a blue screen. Let's see. Had to do this workout. Showcast, I ain't lost nothing. Just a little older. My knee surgery set me back a little bit. But I'm doing things now that I wasn't able to do. You know, a few months ago, my knee is stronger now. I'm more explosive. I got my first step. I got, I maybe never get out there and play ball like I want to at the level these young guys play, but I can, I can still go. Maybe not at their level. You could put me in a 40 and over league. 
I'll be out, I'll probably be out there killing cats. But, but that's what we gotta do. Those who are around my age, man, we gotta work out, man. Get out there, work on your footwork. Keep it, keep yourself young. Keep yourself young. That was just a seven-minute workout. And I was out here for 20 minutes while y'all looked at a blue screen for 20 minutes or longer. See, I thought I was going to come on here and throw some spiritual stuff at you. I'm a, I'm a normal human being, too. You know, I, even though I could flip this around spiritually, we're going to keep it right where it's at. And let you pull something out of it spiritually. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you pull something out spiritually for my seven minute workout for y'all. I'm going to let you pull something out spiritually. So those, I can't even ask y'all to look at the video because for 20 minutes, y'all said nothing but a blue screen. That's crazy. I did all that hard work, but maybe that's good y'all didn't see it. I was shooting air balls and everything else. I didn't want y'all to see that. But I'm going to get off of here. I did this video to motivate somebody to get out, work out. I work, I work out four or five times a week. Push-ups, sit-ups, light weights. I'm trying to watch what I eat. If I, you know, I'm trying to minimize how much I eat a day. You know, maybe once, twice a day. Sometimes I may, I may hit it three times, but um, it's what I'm eating. If I eat three times a day, it's what I'm eating. Like, I ain't eating fast food all day long. Like, I'm going to eat something healthy, healthy as I can get it. I'm trying to help somebody today, man. You only get one natural body. You only get one natural body. It all depends on what you do with it. What you going to do with your body? I refuse. I refuse to get fat. And that's no disrespect to anybody. I refuse to just be out of weight. I mean, out of shape. Just be bloated. I refuse. So y'all take care. You can watch the video. Just watch the last seven minutes. You see me do my um, my workout I did. The first 20 minutes ain't going to do you no justice. But the last seven minutes will. I'm just fixing my seat here. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching. Hope y'all got something. I'll let y'all later.